Hi, welcome to another episode of PSD TV from Power Systems Design. I'm your host, Alex Palt, and today I've got Michael Hornkamp from Power Integrations here at the PS PCIM show in uh, Nuremberg, Germany. Hi, Mike. Welcome to the show. Alex, welcome here on our booth. It's a really nice booth, by the way. Yep, yeah, that's a uh, kind of relation to our Markham team. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Well, you do have a good team. The thing is, though, I mean, it's beyond the Markham, it's beyond the glitter. I mean, we're talking about real products. We're talking about engine. I mean, these are engineers here. You can't just tell people it's a new color and they'll buy it, you know? Yes. <laughs> that's clear. That's, that's right. I mean, that's, that's why we have a lot of technical people here on the booths. We have uh, engineers here and um, our own uh, technical stuff uh, to explain what we have on new technologies, what we have here on also application, helping the customers uh, for the design. Well, that makes a lot of sense because a solution is no solution unless it addresses an application, right? That's correct, yeah, absolutely. So, I see we're standing over this piece of equipment. Tell me about it, what is it exactly? Yeah, it, it, is, a, it is a reference um, for our customers what is uh, point out or new chip technologies for gate drivers. It is absolute new what we made. Um, everybody knows the history of the gate drivers in our company, where it was mostly on board level components. We are coming over together with power integration in the joint development of um, ASIC chipset and packaging design with a brand new technology for a gate driver. And um, here with this um, um, servo drive, we're trying to explain how to use our technology in a real application and what is the difference uh, to the solution you can find in the market today. Because what you see here, it's everything, it's compromised, smaller, lower uh, uh, amount of components. And uh, this is what we want to present the customers here. And everybody is welcome um, to take a closer look to our solution. Well, and it's, I, I, I'm really glad to see that you're putting them in solutions as in reference designs and uh, demonstrations because a lot of this technology is so new and developing so quickly, the engineers themselves have to learn why they need it. Why they need it? it is, uh, you can answer this in different directions. One direction is, of course, everybody is looking to lower costs. The drive market is very under pressure. A lot of new players in the market, global competition everywhere. So it's a, very clearly saying there is a, there's a cost point of view. This means every component you can save in the design uh, in the end reduce the cost of the system. So point number one. Point number two is we have here functionalities integrated in the chip. You cannot find that in the market today. And um, with these functionalities, it makes your system more safe, more ruggedness, and you make it more um, flexible also um, for a component in different applications. And this is a two clear trend. So, it's point number three, and I think for me this is the most important point, isolation. Isolation means safety. And um, we have here reinforced isolation capability with a wider package. This is a 9.5 millimeter package with a creepage distance of 9.5 millimeters. And we reach here very high isolation with a new technology, what is called FlexLink technology. It's integrated um, magnetic coupling inside the chip um, and it's um, um, a transformer, we can say transformer in the lead frame. So, and this galvanic isolation combined with the reducing of the external components with the functionality, um, finally I believe 100% that is the way of success for this new component and it's a success for our customers. Excellent. Well, I mean, that's what it has to be, right? The solutions, no yeah, solutions. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Of course. I mean, nothing else we, we want. We can only be successful with our components if our customers are successful. Well, and unfortunately, too many companies lose sight of that. They have a product they think is really great and it's got all kinds of bells and whistles, but it has to be designed into something. It has to be used to be functional. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> We, we can see in the market a lot of different trends um, and this is, this is uh, we see customers that are very specialized in something what they're doing and uh, maybe they're more focused on software application and in hardware application. Exactly this customer we want to help and we want to show you go to the next level um, of, an, of design. Excellent. So, Michael, I always let my guests have the last word on my show, but uh, it could be anything about the product or about the company or just a tip for our audience, but oh. the floor is yours. Very simple, Alec, very simple. You're welcome to join us anytime again. <laughs> <laughs> so really, thank you so much for having me here at the very busy show. Okay, thank you very much. And I'd like to thank everybody out there in the audience for taking the time to be with us. We wouldn't be here without you. Tell your friends. This is Alex Paul for PSD TV. Thanks. <laughs>